Andrax is an advanced penetration testing platform for desktop, Android, and ARM boards. Hello everyone, welcome you all to a new video. In this video, we are going to install Andrax on a Linux platform. Why Linux platform, and why you can't install Andrax on any other platform like Windows or Mac OS? Let me explain to you with proof. What if I try to install it on Windows? Let me run the install.sh command on Sigwin, and you find the answer on my Sigwin terminal screen. Run as root, are you Kali shit dump? If you try to install it using sudo then you find bash, command not found error. The same error is with git. Remember one thing Andrax is a platform dependent tool which means it needs a native operating system. Now it's time to install Andrax. Before getting started make sure you already have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet done, then click the subscribe button now. And also press the bell icon to stay tuned whenever I upload a new video. Our first requirement will be Linux OS. If you already have any Linux OS, I am not talking about Kali Linux, as Kali Linux already has too many security auditing tools, then skip this step if already have Linux OS. As per recommendation, I suggest you run Andrax on a lightweight Linux operating system. I am here going to use Bodhi Linux. Download the ISO image. First of all, create a new virtual machine. Set a name and the version Linux 64 bit. The next step would be to allocate the RAM. It is recommended that you allocate at least 1024 megabytes or more to run perfectly. Next, allocate the size of the hard disk to more than 50 gigabytes. Click on Settings and change the Network Adapter to Bridge Adapter. Change the Display Video Memory to 128 megabytes. Click on Storage and upload the ISO image, or you can save the disk image. Now start the machine and follow the simple steps to install Bodhi Linux. Here click on Install Bodhi Linux. Now from here select your preferred language, and click on continue. Check a box to install third-party software. Here fill the form and set a password. It will take time to complete the installation. Now install the guest box edition, and then restart the system. Now it's time to download the Andrax. Visit the official Andrax web page. From here click on download now. From here choose Andrax for desktop. Now click here and download it. Let me open my terminal and change the directory to download. Now type ls to list all files and directories. Here you see the downloaded file in form of zipping. Now we have unzipped this file. Let me run unzip and the file name. If you find the same error then install unzip package using sudo apt-get install unzip. Again run the same commands to unzip the file. It may take a couple of minutes, depends on system performance. Now here type ls to list all files and directories. Now change the directories to Andrax Desktop. Now again type ls to list all files and directories inside the Andrax Desktop directory. Ok, let's get to install Andrax by executing the shell script. Now give executable permission to install.sh. Now run sudo bash install.sh to install the Andrax Desktop. It may take 30 to 50 minutes to complete. Now everything is installed. Happy hacking! Now launch the Andrax Hackers platform.
Now we got the Andrax terminal session. Now, you know, how to install Andrax on a desktop environment. Now we will learn how it's useful for hackers. At the end of the video, I will explain to you its merits and demerits, and also I will compare it with Kali Linux. You can find the documentation from their official web page. If you want to launch any tool or any application, then just mention it on the terminal. For example, if you want to launch the Firefox browser then, run sudo Firefox. Here type the password. The password is Andrax, remember it. Okay, another one, nmap. Just run nmap, and here is it. You all know nmap has a GUI interface, zenmap. Let me run the zenmap. Here you see the GUI interface of the nmap. Now we are going to talk about the services demons of Andrax. Andrax is completely equipped with services demons to help you and improve your usability. You can list Andrax available services using sudo service then double hyphen status all. The next surprise is Andrax Remote Control Services. Control Andrax remotely is relatively easy. Andrax is pre configured to be accessible by SSH and VNC. First, we will talk about VNC. The new generation of Andrax has a native Linux graphical interface. We use Flexbox, the best high performance and low power window manager. To start graphical interface on Andrax, just run sudo service vnc start command on the shell. Now Andrax vnc server is started, and the graphical interface is fully operational. You can access the graphical interface using any vnc client on your Android or in your PC, if you want it. I am on my Android device. Download VNC Viewer from the Play Store. Now create a new connection. If you don't know your IP address, just run a config command. The port is 5902 and the password is Andrax. Now the connection establishes from Android devices. If you want to access it from Windows, then use the same method from this video. The link is in my description. First of all, let me launch the VNC viewer. Here on the search bar, give the IP address followed by the port number. Here give your VNC password. Now the connection establishes from the Windows device. You can launch any application by right-clicking on the mouse. This terminal is known as the Dragon Terminal. Firefox browser comes pre-installed with Andrax, launched by right-clicking on mouse. By right-clicking, you can find a huge amount of tools. You all know about Red Hawk. Launch Red Hawk from Information Gathering Tools. And also you can scan any website or web page. There are few other tools listed on this list. Stop the VNC session using the sudo service VNC stop. Now, 
How you control Andrax with the help of SSH. Andrax has the open SSH by default, everything to use is pre-configured. If you want to enable the SSH server then run, sudo service SSH start. Remember one thing, the SSH server will be started and accessible by port 22 on Andrax IP address. Now try to connect on Andrax from any SSH client and you will be able to run commands on your Andrax installation remotely. Let's do it from Terminux. First of all update all packages. Ok, now install the open SSH package on your Terminux. Now from here, run the following command. SSH then Andrax it then the IP address that is 192.168.43.112. Get the password that is Andrax. Now we get connected with Andrax through SSH protocol. Now from here, you can launch CLI based tools, like Nmap. If you want to access it from Windows then PuTTY must be required. Get the IP address and get the connection. Now it's time to give you some of my experiences. If I compare it with Kali Linux, it will be ahead only in terms of tools, but its manual is not so good for beginners. As a result, this is not for beginners, it is an advanced level penetration testing platform. If you already have knowledge of Linux, then you go for it.